feel like I don't even know where to start. I got everything on the floor right now, okay? So hopefully I didn't miss nothing because I do not feel like getting up off this floor, okay? I have not sat down and filmed on the floor in quite some time. So that's what we're doing, okay? And when I get up, y'all know, listen, I be breathing real heavy. So starting off with face moisturizing, y'all, I do use my e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. And y'all, you can see she done been through some things. I'm just about out and I have to get a new bottle. But for moisturizing my face, y'all, I do love this e.l.f. product. So, all right, let's start off with these primers. I have three primers. The first primer, you guys, is the Rimmel London. It is the Stay Matte. If you're looking for a matte primer, if you are an oily chick and you need a primer that's um, mattifying on the skin, I would highly recommend this. This is the only one I have. This I don't have any other mattifying primers like that. It is a good primer, especially it's good in the, the summertime, so when you're really trying to not be too oily, this is your go-to, girl. Another one you get at the drugstore, you guys, is the e.l.f. Y'all already know e.l.f. came out with this Power Grip Primer. Primer. It's very tacky on the skin. Um, is is it's a great comparison to the um, Hydro Grip. So if you don't want to spend coins for that, then you can most definitely grab this. And this is for my um, dry skin shorties. If you are a dry skin girl, then this is for you. And even if you're not, it's still a good primer to hydrate the skin. And y'all already know Milk Hydro Grip. This is my baby. She's not going nowhere. I already got a second bottle ready for when this one goes out. But Milk Hydro Grip. Y'all, I'm not sure I'm going to sit here and tell y'all how much these stuff costs because it's a lot. And I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm going to leave the names down in the description box for you guys. But Milk Hydro Grip. This is a good primer. Nice hydrating on the skin. If you don't know, you guys, primer is to hold to grip the makeup to your face. It's there to grip your makeup for it to try to stay for it to stay in place as long as you can. I understand how oils peek through is going to. It's not going to stop it, but it's going to hold it out as long as possible. So milk hydro grip, you guys. I do have a good bit of foundations that I have tried and let's just say that these are just my babies that I reach more often. First foundation that I have here is the ColourPop. It is the ColourPop Pretty Fish Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. And I have the shade Deep Dark 190 Warm. Y'all, this foundation, if you want hydration, you want to look dewy and glowy on the skin, this is your chick, okay? This is a beautiful finished foundation. It looks very soothing. It looks like skin once you're done. It's like your skin is glowing within. I love this foundation. Now, I do have other drugstore foundations that I do like, which is the, the, um, the NYX Born to Glow. That is a beautiful foundation. And the ELF, once again, that is a beautiful foundation. Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Spice Rum. Y'all, listen. This is the undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. It's oil free. Y'all, this is what I have on my face today because I'm trying to get rid of it so I can use it up because once I use it up, I'm going to go get a new bottle, but I want to kind of use up all the other foundations I have. But she's not going nowhere. She, she not going nowhere. No if, ands, or buts about it. She, she not going nowhere. One of my favorites is the Too Faced Born This Way. Highly recommend it. Get your hands on it. Y'all already know. You, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. You know, you know. Y'all, baby, listen. She not going nowhere. She's not going anywhere, okay? We are going through it, okay? We are going to go through this together. And if she's not here, then just throw the whole day away. Just throw the whole day away. Y'all, NARS Soft Matte Foundation. I have the shade New Caledonia. When I do get, um, when I do run out of this, which will probably be soon, <laughs> I'm going to get go back into the shade Marquises. You have to use this foundation quick because she she gonna get dry up real fast. She's very mattifying. She will, but the finish of it is beautiful, y'all. It is beautiful. NARS know what they're doing when it comes to complexion. Okay, let's move on to concealers, huh? ColourPop has made the list again. ColourPop Concealer. Love it. I have the shade Dark 175 Neutral, and I do have another shade um, that's in Warm. 
I use both of those to conceal. One is a darker shade and one is a bit of a lighter shade. But if you have not tried the ColourPop um, Pretty Fresh Concealer, I highly recommend it, you guys. I like it and you will love it too. The L'Oreal Infallible. I'm almost out of this. And this is in the shade 415 Honey. If you want super coverage, coverage, I would highly recommend this. If you want coverage, if you want something that's thick, and full of coverage this is your girl this is what I use when I know I want a lot of coverage on my face I did use a little bit of this one and I did use a little bit of the ColourPop on my face if you notice how bright I am I'm starting to use the lighter concealers up in here and then the darker ones down here elf camel concealers I have not tried the hydrating one because I like the 16 hour camel concealer this one is in the shade deep chestnut and I also have deep olive which is a bit brighter if I really want a real bright bright under eye same thing as the L'Oreal this is going to give you coverage concealers I have my NARS which is the um in the shade Amand, it is a soft matte complete concealer, you guys. I mostly use this to carve out my brows. I don't really use it too much under my eyes. Maybe I should try it. I've never really tried it under my eyes. It's very mattifying. So I just use this to carve out my brows. But yes, I'm, I'm not looking cute. I'm, girl, I'm feeling myself. Hold on. The setting powders that I have been reaching for the most, you guys, I've just started reaching for this. I just bought this this year and I've been loving it and this is love. I just bought this this year. I just bought this powder this year. And this is the Sephora Translucent Setting Power, y'all. This is what she looks like. And this is what I have on my face today. And it's lightweight and it's translucent, so it's gonna melt into the skin, y'all. This is a great setting powder and it's flawless on the skin. And I just started using this year and I've been using the crap out of it. Laura Mercier, I have. Is that for me? This is in the shade Honey, so this is a bit yellow. Well, not too yellow, it's like a banana -y shade. It's what she looks like. I already know she's my go-to girl as well. And I also have the medium deep one. When I don't want to be too bright under the face, I'll go in with the medium deep to help, you know, soften me a bit so, so I'm not as bright in the face. But Laura, I do love Laura Mercier. That is a favorite setting powder. It's just as nice. All of these setting powders, I really can't explain, oh, this one does this, this one does that. I'm not that advanced in makeup, okay? Laura, y'all, I'm just talking. I don't know if it's Laura Mercier or Laura Mercier. I think it's Laura end, Mercier. Higher end, I would recommend the Laura and last but not least is my Fenty now I like I said I do have oily skin so when I want to be mattified and I need my makeup to stay on all day she is drying she is a giant on the skin she is very drying this is a drying powder so if you are a dry chick do not reach for this powder do not pass go do not collect $200 if you have dry skin, don't reach for this powder. Please don't. Go for the lower. Go for something else. But don't go for this powder because this powder is very drying. Shade, like I said, I don't know if I said it's honey. I don't know if I showed it to you. And it does have a little, little, not a filter, a cover on here. It has a little Fenty logo on it. And of course, you see this one is a lot more yellow than the other. I actually kind of prefer yellow, a bit of a yellow powder. Urban Decay All Nighter. If you need your powder to stay on all day, baby, all day, and you got a you got a card you need to go to, you got an event you got to go to, and you need it to stay on all day, y'all. I highly recommend this. I take this with me when I go places. So if I need a really really matte face, and y'all know I like to be matte, I take this with me so I can have this to pad. I take like a sponge with me. You can something y'all can just take blotting pads or whatever, and you be good to go. But this is what I'm gonna grab for when I really want my makeup to stay on all day all right y'all let's move into all of the face powders now I only have two here because these are the only two that I really been reaching for much lately I have the Too Faced born this way this is in the shade spice rum this is a foundation powder but I do use it for an all over face powder and a foundation y'all it looks really really light on camera but it's really not that light so I do use this one, and another one I do use, I use this more, this, more than anything, y'all, and I tried this out this year. I highly recommend, if you want coverage, you want coverage, get this L'Oreal Infallible, and this is in the shade Sienna, if you mind my, my shade match, my shade twin. 
y'all coverage y'all I skipped my lips in the beginning so y'all normally when I start my videos off I put some moisturizer some people use lip primers or whatever lip gloss whatever I like to use some lip balms and the first one both of them are both from Milani you guys this is the Milani fresh fruit 130 dragon fruit peach you see me put this on all the time and then a lot of times before I go to bed but sometimes starting my videos if I can't find this one I grab this one and this is the Milani rose butter um rose butter um lip mask and it's bit thick this is very thick y'all it's, it's a little thick it's hard to get through this video y'all I'm hungry okay all right so the first blushes y'all that I highly recommend y'all getting is the Sephora blushes I have the shade hot flush and hey jealousy y'all these are beautiful on the skin and I actually have both of them on today anyway they look like highlighters you guys because they do have a glow to the skin and I like to pair these two together another blush which is my OG which she ain't going nowhere y'all already know it is the elf and always spicy this is my girl she been through it all with me and she ain't going nowhere she's very beautiful on the skin I did not wear her today so two cream blushes that I do have y'all is the Milani which is a bit affordable this is in the shade blushing berry and I think I have this on today. No, I lie. No, I don't. I have another video I just filmed. I put this on. So this is the her. Beautiful on the skin. And of course, if you use a cream blush, y'all make sure that you are covering with some powder so it does not move. And another one is from LYS. This is in the shade Passion. So this is a bit more mauve than this one, but this is the shade Passion from LYS. Beautiful blush, you guys. So if you want more of an affordable um, blush, then of course I'm going to highly recommend the Milani. But if you want to be a little bit more in your little coins, then most definitely try the LYS in the shade Passion. Beautiful, beautiful blush. I'm not going to say I have not been wearing highlighter because I do, but it seems like I'm not gravitating to them as much as I used to. But I still love my highlight. I got to have a highlight on, okay? Because, I, because I've been wearing that blush so much, I haven't been really wearing a lot of highlighter. But today, I actually have on the Sonia Kashuk, as you see on my nose. And I did put a little bit here, but I really didn't need it. So this is the Sonia Kashuk blush. I mean, highlighter, excuse me. It's a very nice, subtle highlight you guys and I love her she's not going away so I reach for her a little bit more than the other ones and I do have the Milani I have had her for a while this 04 and strobe light glowing but either way I have had her for a while and this is my Milani and she is gorgeous she my Huda Beauty 3d um highlighting palette they do have one cream in here and the rest you get three um different sh um four different shades you have Mel, Mel Dives Aruba and Bora Bora as you can see, I have went in um, Aruba because I love a golden highlight, but I've also been loving this um, Bora Bora shade. Quite a few bronzers, y'all. So let's start with the with the cream bronzers. Of course, I have my Nards, which is what I have on today. And if you really want, this is more of a contour. Yes, I've been loving this Nards, y'all. It's very beautiful. And the color is just perfect and it's what I have on my skin today is the soul body by color pop and this is a um it's in the shade deep it also has a scent to it too this is a bronzer cream so it's more of a bronzer so it's not as dark as the um as the NARS I do have a lot of powder bronzer so let's go through this fast because these are the ones I have been reaching and I like these ones all right first off out of all of them that i've been reaching for lately honestly right now my favorite it will have to be the black radiance this is the black radiance um pressed powder in the shade black coffee y'all i have been reaching for her lately this has been my powder bronzer that i have been reaching for all the time and y'all already know i normally would go for the charlotte tilbury which i do have here because i love her if you want more of a higher end option this is your option for you which is the charlotte tilbury it's beautiful on the skin it's an like airbrush looks really really good is it the same company no i like huh this is morphe this is the morphe um glamour bronze in the shade leader so if i'm using more of a bronze look so if i use a cream bronzer like if i use this cream um cream bronzer then i'm gonna go over with a cream bronzer a powder bronzer to set it if I use this um, NARS um, which is more of a contour then I'm going to use this makeup revolution and this is another um, bronze powder bronzer that I have that is a bit darker y'all this is a beautiful beautiful shade I have the makeup revolution splendor ultra matte bronzer in the shade dark so yes I have four bronzers. 
NARS contour set with a darker powder. Bron a balm, which is a cream bronze bronzer, then set with a bronzer powder. If that makes sense, make it make sense for me. If you know, you already know. Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Y'all already know she's not going anywhere. This is my favorite mascara. Um, when I feel, y'all, if you don't have lashes and your lashes really don't pop, you just throw this on. This is beautiful, y'all. It picks up, it goes, it gets in between every hair, okay? She's going to insinuate your brows, your lashes, because I don't have any. ColourPop eyeshadows. I have been reaching for these a lot more than anything. Um, they are very pigmented. This is my favorite one. So if I just need to throw something on the eyes, go about my business, and this is what I'm going to grab for. It is a little quad eyeshadow palette. This one is my favorite one. And then I just dipped into this one the other day. This one is the Down to Earth palette. And this one is the Triple Scoop palette. So three setting sprays that I really reach for the most, y'all. My Milk. Hydro Grip um, Setting Spray. If it's more of a hydrating mist on this face, and it is dewy, so you will be glowy. So if you don't want to look like that, then don't grab for this one. But it's beautiful on the skin. Of course, the Morphe, you guys. Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I do have my Milani in there that I do love, love to use. I didn't reach for it, and I dang sure don't feel like getting up to go get it. So it is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. That is a matte setting spray. So when I want to be matte, that's what I'm going to go for. I have the Urban Decay D Slick is a makeup setting spray for oil control so I guess it just works the same but I picked this up thinking that I had the all-nighter setting spray but either way it works just as fine so the Urban Decay and this is the D Slick try it you guys it's really I, I do use my eyeliners but the ones that I do have is from elf this is a little elf pencil nothing spectacular about that just under the eye waterline and then I do have essence um, it is both of these are in the shade black. It is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil, and these are just my two little eyeliners that I reach for. Oh, I forgot my brows. Sorry, I forgot my brows, y'all. Brow pencil, you already know, ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in the shade black brown. This is my favorite brow pencil. I do like the Cover Girl. I think I don't know where that one is, but it's the Cover Girl in soft brown. And also here I have the Sephora. And this is the shade, I think it's chocolate brown. Girl, this thing do not look chocolate. But this is what I have on my eyes today, which is the Sephora. But my favorite brow pencil, you guys, would be the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. And lips, I only use two lip pencils really too much, which you can use your, I use my brow pencil in that brown. I use it for my lips too. But these are the ones I reach for the most. Is the NYX, NYX Professional Makeup. This is in the shade Dark Brown for my lips. And you already know my favorite is the... ColourPop, um, ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF4. Y'all got like three of these lying all around. Oh, when I need something quick on my lips, of course, y'all know I love my Fenty Gloss. I do have more shades over there, um, but this is in the shade Fenty Glow. I keep this around. I had two, so this one she's eat up because she's been through it because I use it. It's in my purse and it's just me. But yes, Fenty Glow. And y'all already know when I do my lip combos, majority of the time it's the ColourPop um, Lip Pencil BFF4. And my favorite lipsticks, you guys, are the ColourPop. I have Virgo Moon here. She's my girl. And then, of course, my favorite is Bloom to Bloom, which is a really, really beautiful nude shade. You can see that she don't even come up as much as high as the other one because I'm going through them. But yes, that is my favorite lipstick, y'all, which is the ColourPop Bloom to Bloom and the Virgo Moon. It's my favorite two lipsticks. Gloss topper on top of it. If I don't have the Fenty, which I really don't use that as a topper too much, I mostly use that as, like, if I just want to wear gloss. But when I do have these lips lipstick combos on and I want something on the top, I am going to reach for my ColourPop Luxe. One is in um, Re Renaissance and the other one is all grown up. And y'all, these are beautiful. One of them I do have on my lips today. I have NYX Butter Glosses. Y'all, you can't go wrong with the NYX Butter Gloss. They're like, what, 4 or $6 or something like that. This is in the shade Praline. And um, 
beautiful, affordable, really nice lip combos that you can get out of these glosses. So that is it, you guys. These are the products that I have been using pretty much during the summer or for the longest. I've just been gravitating to these products the most. Um, maybe if there's some of the products that you actually use that you can say, hey, that's my ride or die, then you can list them in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.